I'm Grayson Perry and I want to know what men think about male privilege. I know, right? You're going to have to go out and find some people with penises since, you know, you lost yours in the war. What the fuck is with the hilarious dramatic sting? It makes this sound like it's a frigging movie trailer. Male privilege. People with brains know it's bullshit, but it's coming to get you this fall. I genuinely don't know if they're doing this to take the piss or someone at Penguin HQ. Oh, this is by Penguin, by the way. You know, the fucking book publisher. Because you know what people really care about when they're buying books about anything? is very specific made-up social issues. That's the real meaning of selling paperbacks. Does male privilege exist? In the way it's couched by social justice, no, absolutely not. The idea that the world absolutely advantages men over women in every way is completely ludicrous. If you can't see ways in which women do have it a lot better than men, you lack an accurate mental model of reality and you need to actually step outside of your bubble and experience the world. If you mean it in the way of, are there advantages to being a man? Probably, much like there are advantages to being just about anything. But there are also disadvantages. Again, same with just about being anything. But using terms like privilege, well, it's just a way to call someone a bad person for being born wrong, isn't it? Excuse me, can I ask you a quick question? No, leave me alone! Ah! Ah, get away! No! No, I don't want to talk to you! Go away! Do you think that male privilege exists? This dude's just like, uh, I'm clearly on my phone, bitch. Get your microphone having privilege out of here. You can't just ask me dumb shit while I'm busy. Uh, no, no, not at all. Why not? I would prefer to, but it's not happening anymore. It's gone. It's, where did it go? I don't know. When I was it here? Oh, come now, darling. You clearly have all the answers. I don't know why you're even doing this, apart from trying to win the national prize for most insufferable dickhead of the year. In which case, tremendous job, sweetheart. I'll be voting for you, no doubt. I don't think enough people these days give credence to the fact that males and females are different. Uh, that's just sexism. Men and women are clearly exactly the same. Genitals are a social construct perpetuated by the patriarchy. The fact that men, on average, have significantly greater muscle mass is a social construct perpetuated by the patriarchy. The fact that male brains and female brains are different is a social construct perpetuated by the patriarchy. Objective, empirical, demonstrable, testable reality is a social construct perpetuated by the patriarchy. Of course, a lot of men have uh, benefited solely because they were men. Okay then, name me three things a man can legally do or benefits he legally has that women can't and don't in Western society. Because I can name three benefits for women off the top of my head. 1. The legal right to genital integrity. It is illegal to mutilate a female's genitals in the West. Not so for males, as circumcisions done on baby boys is still a thing. 2. Women have the right to vote without the expectation of the draft. The very reason men were given the vote in the first place was to enfranchise them into the country and give them some power since they were expected to go and get themselves killed. 3. Women have the right to relinquish responsibility to their baby at pretty much any time. With things like safe haven laws, a mother can abandon their child whenever they want without the father's consent. But a male who does not wish to take on the financial burden of a child can, and usually is, forced to do so until that child comes of age. Now, I am in no way saying that these are bad rights for women to have. There are arguments to be made either way. But you would think in a just plain equal society, these wouldn't happen. But in one of male privilege, this would be preposterous. As a guy, there's a certain societal expectation of you if you haven't achieved X, Y, Z by 25, you've failed at life. Societal expectation? What a privilege. It feels great to have people expect you to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders every day while having cunts run around telling you how privileged you are for things that you don't benefit from. I wouldn't think personally. I've never been a successful person, so I can't say I've, I've benefited. So you would think that if your own experience is a lack of privilege, even though you're the dumb fuck who said... Of course, a lot of men have uh, benefited solely because they were men. That maybe, just maybe, it's not fucking true. 
You think maybe those men, and I'm going to assume you mean successful men, gained their position and power by, I don't know, working hard and to some extent being in the right place at the right time. Don't get me wrong though, opportunity means nothing if you don't work hard to seize it. People say the successful are very lucky. Now, some of them are. Being born into wealth is a massive benefit, regardless of your gender, but nothing counts towards success quite as much as just hard fucking work. It's a, it's a stunting which we put on ourselves almost. And you shouldn't. The key to success and happiness in my book is figuring out what you love and find a way to make a living doing it. Pure wealth shouldn't be a metric for a successful life. And no one, no one has ever laid on their deathbed and said, I didn't work hard enough. <laughs> so what do you think women can express themselves more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Men yeah. keep it in more, do you think? Women don't have an expectation to be strong in the face of adversity. Sounds like a privilege to me. Most men, but most men today, they know how to express themselves. Some men cry, some men don't. If you do cry, expect to gain much sympathy from delightful feminists who really want men to express themselves. Oh. When's the last time you cried? About two minutes ago. I looked at my bank account. <laughs> nice. Also, I love the fact that she's asking a bunch of grafters about male privilege. Bitch, you are literally getting paid to ask questions for a living while they have to do back-breaking labour. We don't really talk that intimate, to be honest. Men don't talk about nothing, do they? No, we don't talk about nothing. We talk when it's needed instead of rattling on about meaningless bullshit. Hey, he said it, not me. Working. Put food on the table. Food on the table. Basically, yeah, yeah. Trying to man up, basically, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to be a good role model for the kids. A little quiet for a man. Ain't, ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I'm actually baffled by this video. I looked into the presenter here. She's clearly an activist. But this whole thing seems to me, at least, to absolutely point to, no, male privilege doesn't exist. I think men are, men are just masculine and aggressive by nature. Don't call me fucking aggressive. I'll kill you. Like wine secretly? Nah, nah, never a wine drinker. Always a beer drinker. Wine for the ladies, beer for the men. Beer is gross. Real men drink pints and 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 pints of whiskey. Bloody poof. Yeah, it's just what men do, isn't it? Come on, mate. You don't know what real men do. You'd need balls for that. I think behind the scenes men cry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Translation. I am a massive wuss. At least you're keeping that shit behind closed doors where it belongs, you bloody degenerate. I, I did feel that growing up I was forced to be stronger than I should have been for many different reasons. Forced or made strong? Strength is good. The world wasn't built off the backs of weak people. It was the strong, determined and the resilient. Fuck. I would rather be strong than whatever this guy is. Kids at school who are kind of like fronting, in it, Like, yeah, I'm like all bad man and ting, like... But at home, they're going to be speaking to their mums like, oh, hey, yes, mum. Because their mums will blap them in their face if they start chatting to them like that. My mum blaps me in the face. I put that bit through a wall. Shit. Do you think there's a future for machoism? I'll say yes. Yeah, That's because I'm a man. It should yeah. always be machoism. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is machoism? And what was the point of this video? Oh, to sell a fucking book. Spoiler, it's probably bollocks. But seeing as you didn't seem to address male privilege, this whole thing appeared to be about masculinity, if anything, I will. My mum used to tell me of a friend of hers. People would say to him that he was lucky to be doing so well. And he'd respond, it's funny. The harder I work, the luckier I got. It sounds like male privilege is working hard to achieve your goal. Sounds like anyone could do that if they wanted. Maybe if you wanted to do well, you should strive for more. Thing is, I don't even think that everybody should be reaching for the stars, as it were. If you have humble life goals and you can achieve them and that makes you happy, whoever you are, man, woman, amorphous blob creature, do it. Don't let dipshits tell you there aren't enough amorphous blob creatures in field X. You should do that. 
And if you're a guy that just wants to get on with life, raise a family with a happy wife and kids that you actually spend time with, instead of being the grand high CEO Pumbaa of a company or some shit, do that. If everyone just did what made them and their loved ones happy, so long as they weren't infringing on other people's right to do the same, this world would be a much better place. Peace.